Hi guys, this is Mike, and today's video is for those who are on the path of memorizing Greek and Hebrew vocabulary in order to better understand these languages. Today we're going to be talking about using faith life groups to join word lists for vocabulary usage for some of your best and well-known introductory Greek and Hebrew grammars. So sit back and relax, let's go ahead and dive right in. Some of you may already be aware of this, but you may not have known that you can actually use a platform known as Faith Life Groups. This is uh, put together by Faith Life Corporation, who are the makers of Logos Bible Software, so it's part of a larger Faith Life platform. And through these groups, you can actually share documents with other Logos users. And one of those documents is Word Lists. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my web browser real quick. And in the web browser, there is a group that I actually created called Intro Introductory Grammar Vocabulary Lists. So what this is, is a group where I have uploaded a bunch of lists from some of the we most well-known and widely used Greek and Hebrew grammars with the vocabulary that are used for each of those grammars. So what's great about this group is that anyone who uses Logos Bible Software can join this group and automatically add these word lists to their Logos Bible Software for using the word list function in Logos. So we're going to go over that. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you didn't know that this group existed is you can go up to faithlife.com and in the find box up top simply type introductory grammars or just introductory and that usually will get you where you need to go and click on introductory grammar vocabulary lists and this will bring you to the groups page and from here you're going to want to click to join the group because you're not going to be able to see the word list unless you join the group now anyone can join the group it doesn't take any special invite or special privilege once you join the group go down to the documents tab because this is where all of the uh, word lists are stored and from here you can see below once it loads all of the different word lists that are available now this is a relatively long list uh, that's here so if you're looking for a particular grammar you can use this find box up here to find that so for instance if you're looking for Mounts's B basics of biblical Greek you can type Mounts in the box and this will display the different Mounts word lists that are available or if you're looking for basics of biblical Hebrew you can also type the uh, title of that and this will find based upon title as well so notice that we have a few different basic biblical Greek lists as well as a basics of biblical Hebrew practical Van Pelt list so that's the basics of how you can do that so once you find the list that you're interested in let's say I want this basics of biblical Greek mounts list you can simply click on this button that says actions and then select copy to make a private copy of this document and that will add that to your own personal Logos documents within your Logos Bible software. So then once you go back over to Logos now you can go up to your documents menu and in the documents menu you have your word list section and from here you can find that word list now readily available. Notice I've got basics of biblical Greek W mounts. You can click that to open it and there you can see your word list and I'm going to go ahead and make this take up the full layout and within the word list um, within this particular Greek word list I have a section titled so here's all the chapter 4 vocabulary words um, from Mounts's basics of biblical Greek chapter 6 vocabulary words so on and so forth so what's cool about these uh, vocabulary word lists within Logos is that you can make your very own cards from here Notice in the top right hand corner we've got the cards option so we can click on that and from here we can actually change uh, different types of card faces so we can have a, a letter or we can have 10 cards to one, 8 cards, 3 cards and we can print these out onto different index cards or on an 8.5 by 10 letter sized paper. So it's up to you if you want to do a printout um, of your cards. But if you're like me and you're using Logos and you're into digital tools, you probably aren't going to want to print these out. You're going to want to find a digital option. So that's what we're going to look at now. We're going to show you how I, you can actually use these word lists that you have in Logos with a special flashcards app that Faith Life created in order to leverage these word lists. So this is where it gets kind of fun. You can go to your app store within your mobile device. For this particular screencast, I'm, I'm going to be using the iOS app store for Apple devices, so iPad and iPhone. So if you go to the search option within your uh, device and simply search for Faith Life and then Flashcards, 
and then do that search, it's going to pull up the flashcards for Greek and Hebrew put together by Faith Life Corporation. So you're going to want to download that onto your phone. And when you do, you can open it to get to the flashcards. So the first thing you're going to want to do is sign into the app. So you're going to want to use your Logos Bible Software or Faith Life account. So I'll go ahead and sign in now with mine. So once you log into your account, you're going to get to this screen here where you can actually see the stacks of word lists that you have available from your Logos Bible Software account. So they automatically load for you. So you don't have to do anything. If you want to make sure that you're logged into the right account, you can click on the settings cogwheel icon over here on the bottom right, and that will show you which account you're logged into. So once you've done that, you can use the search bar up top to find the list if you have a long list of word lists. So I'm going to find mounts. So I'll go ahead and type in mounts over here and press search. And that'll show me the basics of biblical Greek word list that I downloaded from the Faith Life group. From here, you can click on the, uh, the actual word list. And this will take you into the actual word list here where you can then navigate through each of the different cards. So if you swipe to the left or right, that'll flip the card over so you can see your English gloss. In the bottom right hand and left hand corners, you can click got it or missed it. If you click got it, that will take the card out of the stack. If you click missed it, it'll put the card back in the stack so you can re recycle back through again. If you swipe up or down, it'll switch to the next card and then you can just keep on moving through your different cards, switch them, switch them over to see the, what they mean, and then just keep moving through the different stacks. Now once you're done, you can click back, and if you don't want to move through every single section, let's say you want to look at just a particular chapter from your word list, you can click on this little eye icon on the right hand side of your word list, and that'll take you to a kind of general data for this word list, where you can see how many cards are in the list, how many you've learned, how many you have left to go, estimated time to completion. But the part that I want to point out is this sections to memorize section at the very top. If you go ahead and click that, you can then select which section from the Mount's Word list you want to memorize or want to work through. So if I only want to look at chapter four, I can deselect all of the others, and that will give me just my chapter four word list instead of all of the other word lists within, or all the other chapters and sections within Mounts' grammar. So that's a really helpful way that you can actually use grammar vocabulary on the go, leveraging the Faith Life group as well as Locust Bible software to get these really quickly and accessible. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this and you'd like to see other videos like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet and you want to see future videos like this, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button here or down below, as well as consider supporting me on Patreon. I do want to give a shout out to my very first patron and, pl and pledge from Wing Lee Wu. Uh, he actually is my first patron here through Patreon, so he's actually helped me to begin the process of developing a new website for this ministry that I have and teaching you how to use Bible software products. So be on the lookout for that. So once again, if you'd like to support uh, what I do here on YouTube, as well as other things that I want to do with regard to Bible software and digital Bible training, feel free to take a look at my Patreon page either here or down in the link below. As always, enjoy mining the depths of the scriptures using Logos. Until next time.